Why is Mary called the mother of God? To understand this, let's first define what a mother is. A mother is a woman who carries a child in her womb and who gives birth to the child. A mother also gives some of her genes to her child, like her eye color or hair color. A mother also is a woman who cares for her child and raises her child as he grows. In all of these ways, Mary is the mother of Jesus. Mary gave birth to Jesus, and Mary also gave Jesus her human genes, like the color of his hair. Mary also cared for Jesus and helped to raise Jesus as he grew older. Mary loved her son Jesus deeply throughout his life. We must then ask who is Jesus? We can learn about Jesus in the four Gospels in the Bible. In them we are told that Jesus was born in Bethlehem and that Mary and Joseph raised him as he grew older in a town called Nazareth. Jesus showed great wisdom, even as a boy. When he was 12 years old, he was seen teaching the Jewish rabbis and scholars in the temple at Jerusalem. Jesus was a good man throughout his life, and he was a great teacher and a great prophet. He was also a leader, and Jesus was a miracle worker, healing the blind, the sick, and even raising the dead. And most importantly, Jesus is God, the second person of the Trinity, who united himself to a human nature, becoming true God and true man. And because of God's great love for each one of us, Jesus willingly suffered and died on the cross as a sacrifice for the sins of all of us. Then because Jesus is God, he rose from the dead on the third day and he ascended into heaven. So we know that Mary is the mother of Jesus. And we also know that Jesus is God, which means that Mary is the mother of God. And we call Mary the mother of God because of who Jesus is. Mary herself is not eternal. She was born to parents Anna and Joachim. And Mary is a human person, just like each one of us. Mary is given the title Theotokos, which means God-bearer. And Mary is called this because she gave birth to Jesus, who is God. But Mary is not the mother of the Trinity, but only the mother of Jesus, who is God become man. In the Bible, in Luke chapter 1, verses 46 to 47, Mary proclaims, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. Mary herself tells us that like each one of us, she too needed Jesus to save her. The Bible also tells us that Mary is to be honored. When Mary visited her cousin Elizabeth, Elizabeth rejoiced and told Mary, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Mary herself also gives us a prophecy in Luke chapter 1, verses 48. Mary says, Henceforth all generations will call me blessed. This shows that throughout the ages, Mary will be honored for what she did and who she was. We see in the Bible that Mary is to be given great honor, and she is to be called blessed because of her obedience to God and because Jesus is her son. It is important to recognize that this in no way means that we worship Mary. It is God alone whom we worship, and always and everywhere it is God alone who we give glory and praise. But the Bible does tell us that we are to give honor where it is due. In 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 17, we are told that spiritual leaders are to be given double honor. And this includes faithful bishops, as well as faithful priests, 
and also pastors and others involved in spiritual teaching and guidance. In Romans chapter 13 verse 7, the Bible emphasizes that we are to give honor to those who deserve it. And this includes faithful spiritual leaders, but also those who are faithful and who do God's will. These are the holy men and women here on earth, but also all of the great saints of the church who have gone before us, like St. Peter and St. Paul, and also like the Blessed Virgin Mary. And Mary was perfectly obedient to God's will. She is also a great spiritual model for us, as we should imitate her love and faithfulness to God. As such, we give Mary great honor and call her blessed. And Mary is the mother of Jesus, so we rightly call Mary the mother of God. To learn more and to find more videos, go to www.pillarandfoundation.com.